Inside Reality Hour, Real People, Real Life Situations. What's good? How y'all doing today? Kenya got the letters. We get started up in here. What up? What up with it? All right. Dear Sam, me and my husband are expecting our first child together. Prior to me getting pregnant, we had an extremely active sex life. Around my fifth month, I started having a few minor complications, and I do get sick a lot. Plus, with I'm still working, our sex life has rapidly declined. Recently, I found out that he was cheating on me. He started going out a lot, and one night I popped up on him at a spot, and he was with another woman. I confronted him, and he didn't deny he was cheating, and the tramp he was with didn't seem to care that he was married with a now seven-month pregnant wife. He says the reason he cheated was that I'm not uh, fulfilling his needs, not to mention the times we had sex to him were just not sexy. He says the woman doesn't mean anything to him, and once I have the baby, things will get back to normal. He says that I'm being selfish and everything is about the baby. His mother then calls me after the blow-up and says I should just be patient. This too shall pass and work itself out. Like I said, I'm seven months pregnant, wife, a husband that's cheating on me, and thinks it's okay. Even if we stay together, how do I forgive what he did? I feel stuck and don't know what to do. Do you have any advice for me? I ain't never been in that situation. (laughs) That's horrible. (laughs) (laughs) Sam. (laughs) I don't mean to laugh. So who told her what now? Give me the part. Give me the part again. It was something about. So his mama called. His mama called and told her what? That, um, you know, she should just be patient and this too shall pass and work itself out. So, so uh, she shouldn't be tripping about him, nah. you know, having a little side thing while she is out of commission. That is wild. It that's is. crazy. But, no, but, that's but, wild for her to yeah. say be okay with that. That's doubly wild. That he, that's crazy. Yeah. Oof. So, no, but, but so she said that she don't want to have sex. Did she say that she don't feel like having it? Well, she's going. No, she's he in didn't, pain. He, he didn't wasn't. A fan oh, he of doesn't her, find right? her. It's not sexy. Yeah, he didn't. Like so I mean, your sex life gets disrupted when you're pregnant. You're all big. You feeling sick you and still, all those things. I still things. was knocking that thing down. Well, not all guys like to have (laughs) sex with their, you know, some guys feel like they might be hitting their baby in the head. I'm sorry, Latifah, but but before you was born, a couple of hours. Went on and hit that. (laughs) Well, I mean, the the doctor tells you that you should do that in the very last. That morning, boy. It helps to bring the baby down. We were rushing to the uh, hospital. Yeah, no, that's real. The doctors will tell you to do that, you know, if you're trying to get the baby to come on. That's how she got it quicker. Like, no, you can't. You're going putting your mama through all this. Come uh, here. I'm telling you, that's medical. Okay. It's a science. All right, so back to her, though. Back to okay. her. And there's another thing said about that. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. good. That's it's good. already good, but it's really good for you. Well, <laughs> not all guys are are down for the struggle. I'll tell you that. That's for sure. All right, let me stop. So he cheated because he finds her unattractive right now? That's what he's saying? Well, That's what the she's sex, saying? you know, or, she's or she been sick. She's you been know, sick. it hasn't been it. a real sexy time in their lives. Okay. But he said the new girl, she doesn't mean anything, and things will get back to oh normal gosh, after the mess. baby is born. Oh, but, and oh, after she can oh wait, wait, he's saying he, he, he going he 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 to continue to do it. Until until yes. you have the child. That's what I got. Until you get back to, to what me, we that do. is cruel and unusual punishment wow. for that pregnant woman to have to go through. Oh, absolutely. That wow. is no, that is so hurtful. That is wow. In such an emotional time for that woman to oh he could yeah, okay. Like why do you think a lot of guys you see them have kids with that are almost the same age, like maybe less than a year apart because while their person was pregnant, they strayed and did something else, and they got them pregnant, too. And they stopped hitting them, too, then. Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe Let's the other to, one came available. Let's go to the comment section right quick. All right. Now, Karen said this is the ultimate betrayal. He and his mother are dead wrong. I don't think I could stay. This is only going to stress you and the baby. The happiest time for you both is turning into a horrible time. He's not going to stop, and the side chick thinks she's the one. She has the one up on you after his behavior. You deserve so much better. Oh, uh, yeah. she may even think she got one up. She just that's just her position she plays. When and then when she get a new, a new position, she play a new situation. Mm. But yeah, that's a mess. So I'm just yeah, more comments. All right, now 
Miss South said, the only advice anyone should be giving you is leave. If a man can't control his sexuality while you're pregnant, leave. His mother is the reason he feels justified because this must be a family cycle to them. Do you really want to come second to a man that thinks you being pregnant is a reason to sleep with other women and possibly bring you back something that can make you lose your child? Leave. And Val said, gaslighting is best to say that you are selfish and caring for caring about the child you're caring and the health of both of you. Him and his mother are toxic, loud and wrong. Unfortunately, only you will know how much at the disrespect level you can take. Yeah, you just got to, you know, you have to really, you know, this is all about you right now and the baby. Yeah. All jokes aside, this is all about you and the baby. And uh, like everyone said, that stress can cause problems. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to uh, care about your health, your mental because uh, women already go through uh, yeah. things while while you guys are pregnant. And so uh, you have to do what's best for you. I'm not going to tell you to get up out of there like so many people have just told you. Because yeah. you might end up and go back and, and or you might be, we say I'm saying, you know, uh, you got to do what's best for you. And if to taking a break from him is best for you, then you need to take a break. He already took a break. He, he sure did. He, him on break already. So uh. I just hate when people break up at the very beginning of being parents. It's like it's such a tumultuous That's time. Very true. That's yeah. very, very true. Yeah. That's, and it's hard to get past that. You know, once yeah. you guys do break up at that moment, because someone's going to feel abandoned. Normally yeah. the, 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 mo- the mom because she may be left to do things alone yeah. that she didn't wouldn't have done alone before. You're away from your child, missing that development and that connection. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. He's, he's not home but right he, now. But he, he, I don't know if that's the one you want in general anyway, though. Anybody who is good enough to do, who, who feels okay with doing that to you. Uh, that's the daddy now. What you gonna do? Yeah. Lifelong commitment. <laughs> What?